Hey DIY friends and welcome back to another video. Firstly, thank you all so much for reaching out to me via my blog ShanettaDIYLife.com with your DIY project questions. I made a video a while ago showing how to put Dollar Tree contact paper that looks like wood over your floor and I got a crazy response. I got so many views, so many comments, and people just really want to find ways to cover their floors on a really budget kind of way and, and they want it to look like good. So I received a lot of comments on, well, I have concrete on my floors. Can concept paper go on top? What else can I use? I'm not really finding a lot of resources or a lot of options. So I'm going to bring this video to you guys to help you know what different type of ways you can cover your concrete. I'm going to provide you with the top YouTube videos that I have found that seem to be given great tutorials with a lot of good information and I'm going to also run down the actual products you would need in order to tackle each DIY covering of your concrete in your home. So if you yourself have a question or a DIY you want to do but you're not too sure about where to find the information or you're not having luck on YouTube, send me a message from my blog. Once again, it's ShanettaDIYLife.com and I will help you get all you need to tackle your home project. So let's start off the video. All right, so the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is peel and stick vinyl plank flooring. These are so, so easy to install. They look like hardwood. They give your floor a completely different look and they are relatively on the inexpensive side. So when you are laying down your peel and stick vinyl plank flooring, these can go directly onto concrete or you can install a underlay or underlayment underneath the peel and stick so that it can last a long time. It's stated on average, you can expect your peel and stick plank tiles to last between five and 25 years, but it all boils down to how they are installed. When you have concrete floor, it's very porous and most time uneven. So when you lay these down, typically they begin to buckle or, or peel up because the actual surface it is sticking to is not really a good one. So having an underlay or underlayment put down on top of the concrete and then putting your peel and stick plank tiles on top allow it to not only adhere better but also to have a level surface. Concrete typically is uneven so you know those things automatically pop up or have these little bubbles and it's just making a mess. So having that actually down on top of it is a good option or something to think about. Another way I have seen that these are actually installed on concrete as well is to use Loctite. Loctite is a type of glue that's very, very strong and specifically created for concrete. I found this one here on Amazon and if you do have a level floor and you don't really care about using a underlay because it's an extra expense, you can use Loctite to ensure that they stick to your concrete. Now, I'm not sure how to remove Loctite from once you put it on your concrete. The directions may be on there, but this can be another option for you. Another peel and stick option you would have is peel and stick tiles. These, I believe, are the most cheapest of any of the suggestions I'm going to give you today. They come in 12 by 12 squares and you're able to cut them with scissors. You're also able to cut the peel and stick plank with scissors or utility knife just so you can have a clean edge when you have to cut them to finish out your actual floor. I would recommend to use Loctite to help you adhere it to your floor, but if this is a temporary area, you're in an apartment or a rental, I suggest having a barrier that is going to be on top of their floor so that you can you can stick that peel and stick on top of most peel and stick um, flooring options have a no type of residue left or your ease is easy to remove I have received some that definitely have left residue and it's been a pain to remove so if you're able to put anything down on top of the floors you're trying to cover so that you can have an easy removal process don't have to worry about doing any extra kind of cleaning I definitely recommend that Painting your concrete floor is going to be another quick option. It won't be easy, it will have a lot of work, and it's not really quick either because you have to wait for the primer to actually dry and also the paint, the top coat. If you prep your concrete, which is basically 
giving it a good sweep making sure that all the dirt and debris is gone if you have any type of oils that have spilled onto the concrete going to your local hardware store getting some concrete cleaner i have also seen many youtubers use dawn and water to actually get the grease out of the concrete allowing it to fully dry for 24 hours and then going on to painting it now you do have the option of just painting the concrete by itself one solid color make it unanimous quick and easy so you don't really have to worry about any more extra labor intensive type of work now i found a video from a company called waco that definitely shows a really good quick option of how painting your concrete can be very very simple using a, a roller and also a brush and then i went ahead and i have found jessica at home she, sorry jessica lynn at home she's a youtuber as well and she actually did a video doing a stencil on her concrete after painting so i wanted to show you guys this video as well because i think her video was really really good and then I went on Amazon I went on Home Depot and then I went on Lowe's and I looked at the different stencil options they have stencils comes in many different sizes so depending upon what you're looking for how big your space is the bigger the stencil the better to help you cover the area much much quicker and you don't have to worry about having any other type of problems or issues with peel and stick them coming up or something like that you do want to make sure that you are buying the best paint for your concrete i cannot stress this enough because although it is paint you will be having walking on there dogs on there traffic you anything that deals with you putting your feet on is something you really want to make sure it's going to be a good product i know that there are many many different brands out here so i have went also to home depot um, i went to lowell's website and i found different kind of flooring options i used to work at sherman williams i know they also have some options for paint for the floor and concrete all paint is not the same even though it may say it's for the floor it can be a terrible product and then you have to worry about removing all the paint and then repainting it and that's a whole nother expense and a whole nother headache you don't want to have to worry about so spending a little extra time and a little extra money finding the best paint that you want for your home is going to be so much more helpful than just buying the first thing you see that's at a good small price and then you you having to remove that down the road can you glue hardwood onto your concrete that is literally something i thought about and i was like that probably would not work because i'm doing so much research i'm seeing so many different ways and they're typically being the same ways done over and over and over again but even though people are doing the same things over and over and over again it doesn't mean that gluing hardwood on top of your concrete would not work so i found a youtuber her name is darbin ovar and she actually did this she glued um, a bunch of different pieces of wood together to make big pieces and then she literally attached it to her concrete with a special kind of glue she got it at a local hardware store and um it was like amazing to see the end result like you would never know it's attached to her concrete by glue but she has had it on there for a few years no problem and people who also are professionals commented like i would never think to do this this could be an option someone can do if you just want want to just find some wood, slap some glue on there and put it down. All right, so another option you can do is something called sheet vinyl. And it's literally what it sounds like. It's a sheet of vinyl, 12 foot by whatever length you need. And you will get it in a big roll. You can get it delivered to your home. I believe Home Depot and Lowe's does this as well. And um, you just basically roll it out onto your floor, attach it with some adhesive, and you're done. Most times they come, you know, from very cheap to very expensive with the word luxury attached. And they they are also in two different thicknesses a very thin like thickness and a very thick like thickness they are waterproof they are stain proof they're easy to cut easy to maintain and I have seen a lot of people use them with any without any kind of issue but for me personally I would caution and just think about this if you're going to put it in an area where you're not looking to do much change like a laundry room or a, a mud room or just a smaller room that if you do happen to damage a piece of that 
that, you would have to remove the entire sheet vinyl. It's not like a, a vinyl tile or a vinyl plank where you can just individually remove that piece. You have to remove the entire piece of sheet vinyl and that can be a pain in itself. So this is what I have found on Home Depot and once again I found on Lowe's. Check those out, talk to a professional about the different types and what you're looking to achieve in your home. They have been used everywhere. Bedrooms, kitchens, living room, dining rooms, you name it, even the basement. So this is a good option as well. It's literally two steps, roll it out, glue it down, and you're done. So think about that as another option. chance you have just removed carpet from your concrete and you have a lot of stuff going on down there it is recommended that you go to a home depot or another hardware place to do a tool rental for something called a dimer grinder and this will help you prep your concrete for whatever you're looking to do especially if you want to do a stain or an epoxy type of covering for it it helps to prepare it by getting rid of all that top layer and allowing it to be more open to rec to receiving the stain or actually the epoxy so just think about that if you do want to go down that road with your concrete covering Installing laminate flooring is the last option. This video right here outlines detailed instructions and materials are listed in the description.